Hello everyone, this is iCamera9 here, and today I bring you another commentary over some Battlefield 3 gameplay to guys. But today I will not be discussing anything about the gameplay, well, today we'll be talking about the PlayStation 4 Leak controller guys. So, there will be a picture on screen and also as the thumbnail guys, we're going to do a little analysis breakdown. But before the video gets started guys, let me introduce you to who I am. This is the Saiyan Army. If you're new to the channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. I bring you Call of Duty, Battlefield 3, rumors, speculation, news, and all sorts of games guys so now we got that out of the way hopefully you enjoy it and let's get the video started so the playstation 4 controller was leaked guys and it looks pretty damn interesting obviously this is an early prototype but there is no official playstation 4 controller that we know for 100% real but we do have a very high confirmation from IGN's resources that this is an early prototype as you can tell it looks like it was molded quickly together you know something that it's not polished doesn't have any branding really on it it's just pretty much a prototype this guy what it is guys but we're gonna be doing a little dissecting about it so we can check right here I got a picture on screen a little graph what they're talking about so on top they say two adjusted shoulder buttons so I believe this is where the people were complaining that who came from Xbox to PlayStation 3 they didn't exactly like the R2 and L2 buttons on the new PlayStation 3 controller where they felt it like on the triggers on the Xbox were much better so that's nice that they make it do more like the Xbox, maybe more like a gun trigger, considering that's what most of the time it's used for. We got our new D pad, pretty much the same thing, but obviously, this is not a completed version. They're obviously, gonna make it more look a little more fancy, more clean. Now, my new favorite feature about this now, this I didn't, I don't know why anybody didn't see this coming. So, PlayStation's got its own analog sticks, and the Xbox got its own. It can be convex or concave, but on the PlayStation 4, if this is a real controller, they got both the best rules. Like, I don't know why any anybody didn't think of this it's so damn simple I didn't think of it I haven't heard any other commentator think about it. I haven't even heard any news articles think about it this these sticks look fantastic and people might be wondering why I'm so like concerned and like talking about the analog sticks so much because they make a huge difference in your gaming platform you know people buy attachments for the controller just have better accuracy in Call of Duty or Battlefield 3 it just helps overall so next we have the move symbol on top of the PlayStation 4 leaked controller guys so a while ago Sony actually did patent and claim this patent to have the move controller somehow attached to the original DualShock 3 and we can definitely see those design elements here judging by that blue illuminating light I'm not exactly sure how they want us to use the controller you know maybe they can attach something to it I just can't see myself I was never really into the whole Wii controller and moving your controller around in your living room because I like to sit back, turn on the TV and have a nice relaxing gaming session. So we got an unknown port down there and I'm going to guess that is a headphone jack right there guys. So everybody can pretty much agree to this. The mics on the PlayStation 3 are a bit of a problem because everybody seems to be using those wireless Bluetooth headsets that you should be using for your cell phone. Wouldn't recommend for gaming especially when you should be using a proper headset like I do and I recommend everybody else to do that but now kind of like the Xbox 360 there's not gonna be a port in there hopefully it might actually come with the damn PlayStation 4 that would be so much better and actually make the games better and make party chat better if there is gonna be and I guarantee there would be this it's overall better experience in my opinion so we got speakers above the PlayStation logo here guys it could be just a little some little noises that it makes kind of like the Wii U controller and possibly like the Vita and we have a share button on the side that's what rumored to record 50 minutes worth of gameplay guys so that brings us to the end of the video guys if you like to enter in today's giveaway I'm giving a PlayStation Network card and an Xbox Live card if you want to enter guys you gotta first click the subscribe button leave a like down below and comment below tell me which console you're most looking forward to this year being announced the Xbox 720 or the PlayStation 4 and let me know why guys this is iCamerai Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Join the Saiyan Army. Peace everyone.